Hello and welcome to Walker Tea Review. I'm Jason Walker, ready to start another tea, a Japanese green tea. Been looking at quite a few Japanese green teas lately. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this one going. And to do so, of course, I've been using uh, more traditional Japanese style uh, teaware or equipment here. This is a, a Gyokuro I, ha I have here. So I'm going to scoop out enough to uh, get into the bottom cover the bottom area. Yeah, this is a sample size and so I'm having to kind of dig to get the leaf portions out there. That looks like good start so I'll go with that. My water's been brought to a very early boil. It's been cooling for about a minute. Uh, a little bit better potentially a little lower than the, than the, the water used to do, say, Chinese greens. But still got plenty of heat to it. Let me add just a splash more. Looks good. And get this water out of the way so I, so I can talk a little bit about this tea. Got to put the lid on the, the pot here first and let that sit and introduce this tea. This is from Aya America. Aya's, this is Aya's Organic Gil Curl. You can get uh, 80 grams of this for 34 US dollars. Not a lot, uh, not, no real information about the background of this tea, other than to say it is, on the package it is, they're labeled as USDA certified organic. So having said that, that gives us more time, gives me more time to talk about the dry leaf, the wet leaf, and the liquor. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a shake and talk about the dry leaf here. Nice, heavy, uh, sweet, uh, green smells. I mean, this is rich, deep uh, spinach type, deeply steamed spinach or spinach, uh, cream spinach kind of smell here. It's got a sweetness to it. Still, uh, like a lot of Chinese, uh, Japanese greens, it has uh, that sweet pea type of sweetness there. It's a kind of a vegetal flower sweetness there. Uh, underneath that, there's also this kind of, uh, some people might label it as iodine or metallic type of smell. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a sweet metallic type of smell that I'm detecting. Let me scoop out a few of these leaves here. Look at them. Looking at the leaves here, uh, because this was a smaller sample, you get, you, you get more, or you get plenty of fine, small uh, bits, but you also do get some of the longer, say, inch, inch and a half, even two inch long uh, slivers, uh, spindles there. Uh, dark, dark green, almost a little bit towards a, a, a green-blue type of color. Uh, a little sun. Of the green yellow here and there as well but mostly a darker richer type of green a fairly thin uh, very fine spindly in its uh, in its shape so these are smaller leaf or more or narrower leaf portions so having looked at that i'm going to go ahead now and pour and talk about the uh, the liquor here and the wet leaf so i'm going to go pour first just like so Make sure to get uh, plenty of that to go through. Now, this, keep in mind that I've most likely steeped longer and uh, used water temperature higher than what most of your Japanese greens are recommended to be, the way that they're recommended to be treated. A lot of times you're looking at uh, a process that would often require, say, for example, you might boil the water, pour the water into a pitcher, usually a, a, a thicker uh, ceramic pitcher that's going to absorb heat, uh, dissipate the heat, pull the heat out of the water, so that, and then when the, the vessel is uh, cool enough to the touch that you can handle it, then the water is roughly cool enough, maybe, maybe it's in the 120 to 150 degree region, then you would pour it into your pitcher, or your teapot rather, and, be, and serve at that, or steep at that temperature. But instead, I used a richer, deeper temperature. 
I'm going to be able now to talk about the wet leaf, kind of get some rich aromas to come off of this, or at least that's the hope. Still the rich, deep, spinachy type aromas coming off, along with that that, uh, that uh, mineral, metallic type of note. There's something kind of uh, more metal. It's more as if I had put a, a coin or a paper clip or something in my mouth. There's that kind of uh, sensation, that kind of association going on in my nose. There is a sweetness underneath that that's close, very, quite close to the, uh, you know, deeply steamed or, or creamed spinach type of sweetness. So that's there as well. Let me pull out just a pinch of these leaves using my fingers here and just going to plop those onto the lid, uh, leaf portions. A lot of these are, again, those, those smaller ones, not the longer. Uh, I I just in this, little, in this little pinch, I did not get a lot that is those longer leaf sections. Let me see if I can just find a few of those as just a reference point. There, those, are, those are a little bit longer there. Of course, they're all bunched together, stuck. It's hard to pull them apart to look at them uh, distinctly as individuals. but. Uh, you do see some stem pieces in there, uh, some middle of the vein even, maybe not stem, but middle of the, the, the leaf vein there that runs from the, you know, the, the stem of the leaf all towards the tip. Uh, bright green colors there, uh, so it has lightened up some. Um, I can pull at this, see how tender they are. Uh, fairly tender. It, uh, doesn't have a lot of elasticity or give to it there. So I'm going to go ahead and move on now to the liquor. I'll give that a swirl. Hold that up to the light. Uh, got more of a yellow over towards a bit of a green tinge to it. A lot of, uh, a lot of elements floating in the, in the liquor there. The, uh, the fine powder-like uh, components that come off the leaf still floating around that usually adds a lot of richness to the, the, the character of the tea still looks rich in color there in the cup give it a taste now A lot of that metallic element that uh, came out, that metallic that gives almost a kind of biting quality, um, <clears throat> not harsh it is, it is in the stringency, but uh, the metallic does affect more of the, the, the texture. It does have more of a kind of uh, drying component. I shouldn't say dry as much as a, as, a, as a slight biting component to it. So you have that biting, uh, very low astringency, little to no bitterness in the back of the mouth, the aftertaste. You don't get as much of uh, sweetness. You get a lingering sweet aftertaste, not a whole lot. Um, more of the metallic is, is dominating, is present compared with the, the sweetness there. So that's, uh, that's what I get more from waiting in the aftertaste to see if anything else kind of shows itself. Yeah, through the, through the, 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 the voyage to the back of my mouth, the tea does offer uh, some of the uh, spinach cream spinach type component. I'm letting this cool because a lot of times when it cools, it will bring out more of the flavor, the aroma.
Yeah, this time as it cools, as I swished and swirled it around in my mouth, one of the things that traveled more up into my nose was that cream spinach. So as this cools, it does bring off more of that. Uh, as a gyokuro, I should mention here broth in this. I would say this one is also uh, has more of uh, a brothy texture than some of the others that I've tasted. Uh, throughout the tea review, or throughout the history of Walker Tea Review. Um, so with that in mind, a nice brothiness, um, e fairly easy in the aftertaste. Um, the, the metallic component there, that gives it a, a, a bite to it. Um, overall, you know, I would give this one Compared to the others, uh, this is tough. Um, in 91, I'd have to give this a 91. It's got it's got a, a texture there that's nice. It's got some of the sweetness, and even even now, that as it cooled, the aftertaste seems to have uh, picked up a little bit as well. So it, it does give a, a nice thick. A, a, a gently sweet coating. It's almost, uh, you know, like a dark chocolate that it, at first it may seem kind of bitter in the mouth, but then as, it, as you swallow, the, the, the sweetness builds there, and that's what's happening here. There's a sweetness that's it's, uh, building, it's not dropping, it's not, uh, it's not too intense, but then again, it's not dropping off that quickly either. So, uh, 91, come back to Walker Tea Review, to find out about more about uh, gyokuros, about Japanese, Chinese greens, and all teas.